Okay, so I thought I would just do a quick video because um, during the week I'm generally too uh, busy to go through all of the uh, various baseball card, eBay stuff that I get. And uh, so I just kind of put it in a pile and save it up because I want to do it on video uh, so I can kind of keep a documentary record of it. Uh, now it is Thursday evening. I decided uh, after quite a rough day, I would open up the uh, various mail. This is from Coach K, actually. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I won a contest through him, and he sent me a card. Whoa, it looks like he sent me a couple cards. Um, thank you, Coach K. Uh, enjoy your channel. I like the... The father, son, daughter experience. Uh, I'm going to try to... Oh, nice. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I don't know if this is... You know, I had mentioned on my... What a cool card. I had mentioned on my... Gene Conley. I had mentioned on my Mike O response that I, you know, wanted to get an old card... Um, I wonder if Coach K saw that and thought of me. That's really nice. Um, I don't have anything uh, sort of of this vintage. Um, I'm so, wow. Really cool old Philly stuff. Valmy. Um, this is like, I think just sort of what, what, you know, my dad imagines baseball cards to look like, um, or something like that. I was just like this, like what they were, you know, let's see what year this is. Yeah. Late fifties. Yeah. This is like when my, my dad would have been like a little, little kid. Um, really cool stuff. This card is beautiful. Jesse Gonder. I don't know who that is, but I love the, the expression, this hopeful expression. Um, oh, so cool. Same year as, let's see, is this the Phillies logo from in the late 50s? Never seen it before. Totally, totally, utterly unfamiliar with this stuff. Um, and what else? Henry Mason? Wow. Kansas City A's. Yeah, I'm a Missouri guy originally. Fascinating. Yeah, so it's got the Oakland A's logo that I'm familiar with, but frankly didn't even didn't even know about Kansas City A's. These are really interesting, beautiful cards. Thank you very much, uh, Coach K. And then this is what I was this is what I was thinking of. Um, I'm super super duper excited to get this card for at least three reasons. One, uh, it is a Gem Min 10 Vladimir Guerrero Jr., which uh, I think he is an awesome uh, new prospect. I watched the exhibition game that the Blue Jays played against the Cardinals in Canada early bef uh, before the, this last season started, and he just walked up to the plate and hit a homer. Um, so that's – oh, man, this is beautiful. Um that's one reason. The second reason is because I do not have... Well, this is my second slab. Um, my first slab is this guy right here. But I think anybody watching probably wouldn't consider this so much a slab as just some kind of uh, goofy tchotchke. Um, so I'm, I'm, I've been thinking a lot as I watch everyone else's video about, about uh, slabbage and slabbing and whatnot, um, I'm frankly sort of, at this point at least, have some mixed feelings about it. I, I you know, I have this, this strange aversion to encasing the card in something where at least it's not easy to touch and hold, and I don't know. Um, so it's interesting to hold one of these. I don't know, um, you know, if I'll get into it. Uh, 
but I like uh, having one to sort of, I'll, you know, I'll put it in my living room for a little bit. And I guess the third reason is uh, the uh, the Vlad Guerrero Jr. I, I collect Vlad Guerreros um, to the extent that I have inherited like a wild amount of them. Um, I'm putting them into a binder right now. I'm going to do a video. So I, I thought it would be cool to continue that collection and then to start collecting Vlad Guerrero Jr. Um, the point sort of of my doing these videos is not only to record my interest in getting back into collecting um, and to share that uh, experience, but also to hopefully get my children involved and there's a nice tie-in to collecting, I guess, a uh, father-son combo um, in that uh, there, there's a sort of parallel there, I guess. Um, and I got it from a father-son combo. So all, all nice, all nice tie-ins and, uh, connections to be made there. And lastly, I guess, um, I, I, I have a lot of Ozzy Smith cards that I'm organizing into a binder right now. Ozzy is my guy. You'll, this will make sense in a second. Ozzy is my guy from, from way back in the day. He is the baseball player that I think of as like the, he is like the archetypal baseball player in my mind. And Vlad Guerrero, you know, I'm from St. Louis. I have Ozzy. Vlad Guerrero played for the Blue Jays, but before that he was in the minor leagues with the Harrisburg Senators. And my wife is from Harrisburg. Uh, and so I think there's some nice, um, there's some nice like symbolism there to collect Vlad Guerrero and to collect Ozzy and to sort of move forward with the, both of those players in tandem. I don't know. I haven't really articulated that out loud, so it might not make sense uh, to you all, but I like the sort of sentiment of that. Uh, so thanks a lot, coach. I will look at these uh, a lot more and contemplate what these cards have in common. Um, it's just sort of an interesting, it's interesting to receive a package with both of them in it. Let's see what else we've got. I think the rest of these are uh, dollar purchases off of eBay that I got some time ago. Um, I covered up the addresses just to be, you know, prudent, I guess. Oh, speak of the devil, here is my man. Uh, I, and a, a... 2018 Allen and Ginter, Ozzy Smith. I love Allen and Ginter. I've heard some people talking some Allen and Ginter smack to each their own. Um, these cars, I know. I, I mean, I know it, it has its proponents too, but um, I am one of those proponents for sure. I love that they're making cards with retired players, Hall of Famers, whatnot. Uh, so I had to get this. It was nine. I remember it was ninety nine cents on eBay, and free shipping. How could I pass it up? Uh, okay, this is. This is Bench. This is a Johnny Bench card that I got. Um, I watched a video from Blue Jacket 66 that he had the, I think this is the second year cup card. Yeah, okay. This is not the second year cup card. This is a Topps Chrome version of the second year cup card. And this is like, you can tell where I am in terms of uh, financials. You know, Blue Jacket 66 did this awesome video where he talked about uh, rookie cards with three players on them and how oftentimes that was less desirable than the player's second year card and then showed the original of this Johnny Bench cup card. I mean, uh, I thought this card was just so awesome. Uh, I mean, just take away all the, the shine. Uh, but this, this image of Johnny Bench was so awesome uh, that I went online and, you know, couldn't, couldn't uh, I guess these days get behind a, a an original second year, but they had these reprints uh, from, I don't know, this is like quite recent, whatever, 2017 or something like that. Uh, and I just wanted the image. So I just got one of these. It was like three bucks or something like that. And I just love his youth, his, his, textbook catcher pose the sort of uh i don't know sort of the scenery behind him i mean i know it's 
a little blurred out in this. It's actually, I think, clearer in the original, his sort of hairstyle. Um, it's just a really nice looking, cool card. And I wanted the image. So, uh, you know, someday I'll get the other one. But for now, I'm very happy to have this. Let's line these up a little bit better. Okay, next we've got... I just pre-opened these. I haven't looked at them yet. Um, so there's some address on there. Oh, more Aussies. Okay. It says cut on dotted line. That seems like a bad idea. I'm not really sure. This is some sort of lot of Aussies. Um, I think what I liked about this was the... This is a 91 upper deck, but it's at the bottom a... Uh, like all-star game card, which I hadn't seen before. Toronto... I'm having some focus issues here, but you get the idea. It's Toronto Blue Jays All-Star Game. Um, logo uh, at the bottom. Uh, then there's, this is the Pinnacle Aficionado Ozzy. Um, I had, I think I had this when I was, when I was a kid. Uh, so it was fun to have this again. If you remember these, this is like textured, this face, this pixelated sort of etched face over here. Um, this is your, like, sort of base card, Ozzy, but there he is, signing autos. <clears throat> Love this classic all-star card, 85 tops, Pinnacle Zenith. I just found a Larry Walker Pinnacle Zenith under the table in my living room today. I must have dropped it. Um, so that's sitting out in my living room, but, uh, I'd prefer the Aussie. And then, um, not sure why it says cut on dotted line. That's a little, okay. And then this is a young at heart, uh, which I always think is sort of a backhanded insert, <laughs> you know, young at heart, you know, the flip side of that is that they're old, but, um, you know, he played, uh, he had a long career, I guess. Let's see. Uh, this is a Leaf. I've never seen this card, actually. I don't remember ordering this at all. Oh, okay, this card, these cards are so hilarious. Uh, I have a bunch of these. I don't know that I had the Ozzy until now. This is a 95 what? What is this? Sport Flicks. And each one of these cards has... A gigantic baseball that bears no spatial relation to whatever the player is doing. I have a whole bunch of these. I, I, I pulled them out of the stack. I'm not exactly sure what the... It's this sort of surreal image of a gold glove and a giant baseball. And, and then in the back, there's like a baseball sun. It's very weird. I don't know what to I don't know what to think of these, but they're it's like sort of like a baseball player bad dream or something. But I thought these cards were totally fun. And then I had one more uh, eBay. Wow, interesting packaging decision. And another. I must have gone on a tear. I do not remember doing this at all. This is uh, some kind of upper deck. Upper deck collector's choice. Ozzy. Blue. I don't know what the blue means. It says special edition. I don't know. I don't know how super special it was. It's pretty well stuck in there. I'll just leave it in here for now. Uh, but you get the idea. So a whole bunch of Ozzy's. Uh, these, this great... Uh, Slab uh, from Coach K. Uh, some really awesome old cards from Coach K. Uh, and this um, Johnny Bench cup card. Uh, thanks to Blue Jacket 66. Um, good recommendation there. 
Uh, so thanks for joining me on my uh, mail day, and uh, thanks for tuning in.